put it on and I was looking in the mirror and this made like the loudest fart noise. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a what's in my bag video today because I realized that I haven't done one of these in years. It's actually been four years since I've done a what's in my bag video. I'm going to have that one listed in an iCard right here. But when I did that video, I was carrying my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. It's actually a Speedy 30 bandolier. But since then, I've gotten another Louis bag and I thought I would do like a mini review on this bag and just kind of let you guys know how I enjoy carrying it. Um, the pros and cons to it and also show you guys what's in my bag. My bag isn't super clean or organized right now, but it's also not super messy. And I just love watching these videos because I love seeing the bags that people carry and I also am nosy. So I like to know what people carry. This bag is the Louis Vuitton um, Never Full. There's like a little, do you guys know when you step in the grass and there's like those things that get stuck to you? That's on my bag because I had to put my bag down on the ground in the dirt because my toddler was running into the street. So toddlers are fun. This, this is the Neverfull MM. This is the medium size. There's the PM, MM, and GM. So the PM is the smallest. And when I was getting this bag, I was looking at them in the store and um, it just felt too small. And another thing I like about the Neverfull is that you can cinch the sides so you can make it a little bit smaller. So now that I just uncinch the sides, you can see that it's kind of expanded a little bit. So PM was too small for my taste and the GM was way too big. I feel like I would only buy that bag if I traveled often and maybe I would just use that as a carry-on bag, but I don't understand how anyone in their right mind would want to carry a bag that big on a daily basis. I just, it blows my mind. The MM is the perfect size. So if you are torn between which size of the Neverfull you want, I would suggest the MM because this is the size uncinched and then I'll just cinch it again for you guys before I like dive into what's in here. So then it becomes a little bit more square. This is what it looks like. I love it so much. I've been wearing this purse. See, I think I got this for my birthday last year. It was around October. Um, my husband got this bag for me. We went to the mall just to kind of window shop and No, I was pregnant with Brody when I got this bag. Was I? Yes. Okay. Wait, no. Oh Okay, okay. My brain is working. I was pregnant with my son when I got this bag 20 ish weeks and I remember that I was because they offered me champagne when I was waiting to check out and I had to decline because I was pregnant. So I have put a lot of wear on this bag. I'm actually already like noticing some leather rubbing off on the side. So I do need to take this in eventually and have them repair it. But um, I get so much wear out of this bag. I use it as my diaper bag now. I use it as my daily purse. It's the perfect bag in my opinion. I don't have an organizer. So this is everything that's in here. On the inside, I just have the traditional red lining and the print of this bag. I'm gonna butcher it. I think I butchered it in my last, what's in my bag video with my Speedy. But this is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in the Damier Abine. French is not my forte. I have always loved carrying planners and this is my very first Erin Condren planner. I knew that I wanted one this coming like holiday season and I started to look online for Erin Condren planners and then I started to see ads everywhere for them. And then my mother-in-law, she is amazing, surprised me and sent me this as my Christmas gift. She lives out of state. It's customized, it has my name, Lauren Self, right there. And I love this planner so much. It has um, some folders in the back. I'm not gonna show you because I have some important stuff in here. Um, but it's like the perfect planner. I don't have it too customized as far as like stickers go or anything, but um, this is for example, like October, 2019. I don't have anything written on it obviously yet. And I've been a planning freak this whole year. Like. I have been on top of my finances and budgeting and I did a plan with me video. I'll also link that in an iCard here if you guys haven't watched it yet, but I open this thing every single day. I write down everything. I write down how much I get paid from my job and from YouTube. I'm keeping track of my finances so much more this year and this stuff, this planner just keeps me organized and it keeps my life together. So I will never be able to live without an Erin Condren planner. I will have one until I'm like one foot in the grave, the other on a banana peel. 
I'm obsessed. So that is the biggest, most important thing in my bag. I also have a little pouch. So this pouch was given to me as a gift from one of my clients this holiday season. I think it had like toiletries in it or something. Um, it's nothing special, but in this pouch I keep pens because I don't want pens floating around in my bag in case one lid pops off, but I've got like highlighters, a Sharpie, two pens, and a glue stick. And I have a glue stick because I use like envelopes to put inside my planner um, for like cash tips and stuff because I'm an esthetician, I work in the beauty industry, so I do get tips and I like to claim them. So I like to write down um, like how many tips I'm getting cash wise and then I store my tips in an envelope in my planner um, and then I save it for a rainy day, I save it for date nights, anything important. Um, next is my wallet. This is a YSL wallet. Um, as you can tell, my husband loves to spoil me. This is all him. I swear to God, you guys, like I don't need fancy things. I don't need designer things. I don't care for them. Like obviously I love them when I have these pieces, but I don't need them. And I'm not high maintenance in that sense. Like I'm totally fine with getting a bag from TJ Maxx. I have other purses that I love that are just basic purses, they're not designer. But anything nice like this that I get, it's all because my husband, my husband loves to buy me nice things. I just love and appreciate him, not because he does those things for me, but because he wants to make me happy and he does things like that. So he is very sweet and he got me this wallet on my birthday, actually right around the time I got this bag because I was also pregnant with Brody, I was like super early on. So this. Like I said, it's from YSL. I will link it down below if they still have it, but it has this really pretty embossed um, like stitching, it's black and gold. And then this is the inside. I never carry cash with me, but I just got like change in here and all of my cards. I think when I did my old, old, old was in my bag videos, I went through my wallet, which takes way too much time. So we're not gonna do that. I also carry my clutch. So I don't think there's anything in this, I'll check, but that's the other thing I really love about, yeah, I don't have anything in here, but there's one little pocket. Um, that's another thing that I love about getting the Neverfull because I think all sizes of the Neverfull come with it, but you get this clutch for free. It's included in the cost of the bag and you can open this up and like clip it around stuff. I can't tell you guys how many times I use this clutch instead of anything else. Like I will take important cards and cash and my ID out of my wallet. I'll put them in here and this fits my phone. I have a iPhone. I have like the ancient iPhone now because everybody's like super like up to date, but I have like an iPhone 7 plus and it fits in this bag perfectly with other stuff in it. So not bag, clutch. So this just holds a lot and um, that was another reason I wanted the Neverfull because I also wanted this clutch. I think it's gorgeous and it's perfect for a date night. You don't need a bag for going out if you really don't want to carry a bag, if you're like going to be in a crowd or something. So um, I also have my keys. These, I think I had a poof like this in my last one in my bag video. I don't think it's the same one at all. Um, to be honest, I don't even know where I got this poof from. It's super old. I've got some Purell hand sanitizer because people are disgusting. And I have a toddler at home and he already brings enough germs into this home from school. So the last thing I need is more germs. I'm gonna give myself some of this thing right now. I drive a Buick. I feel like that's an old lady car, but I love my Buick so much. I also still have a Jetta. If you guys watched my last look in my bag video, I said that I drove a Jetta. We still have that. And then I've got some random beer opener. I don't drink that often, so I don't know why this is on my keys. Um, I've got this random key, I know absolutely no idea where it goes to. My mailbox key, and then I have my PO box key, and then I have my work key. I love that my boss gave me a pink one. She was very sweet. And my phone in my purse. It's cracked, I'm due for an upgrade, and this little phone case Corey got me. It's like a little pineapple one, and he's actually calling me, so give me a second. I've got a Target receipt, what did I buy? I bought wine and milk, the essentials. I have a gum wrapper, a Publix receipt, what did I buy here? Cheerios, bananas, shredded cheese,
pasta, peanut butter, and corn tortillas. That's like literally everything that son will eat right now. He won't eat anything else. So I go into Publix like every four days to buy that stuff for him. I have a packing slip or no, this is a receipt from the UPS store. I have some pink envelopes. These are from a pack of thank you cards that I bought at Walgreens actually because I wanted cute envelopes for my Erin Condren planner. There's another one. Um, but those are in there. Riley just scared me. My dog like left the room. Riley has left the chat. I don't know what this is too, but this is like a blank piece of like sticker paper. Got a hair tie. This is one of those like cloth ones. I got some change in here. And I have some of my acrylic nails that I took off. This is so sick. I took off my nails in church one day because I, whenever I concentrate and I start thinking about something or I'm like really focusing on something, and I'm not working with my hands, I will like pick at things. I'm a picker. I toss them in my purse, which is sitting next to me. It's so nasty. I'm embarrassed. And this bag, all it has is like that one big opening and then it has this little pocket right here. And then this little clip that you can clip the bag shut here. I don't know why that's in there. Um, a little sticker from when we dropped Brody off at church daycare. And then I have a ton of lip products. Okay, so these are all of my lip products. I don't wear lip products on a daily basis, but when I do, I will throw them in my bag so I can touch up throughout the day. There's like a... Hair on me. Yeah. The first one is Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lip in the color poet this one is dark and i love it i love a good vampy lip doesn't matter what time of year i'm obsessed my husband hates it it's a gorgeous like plum color i would swatch them but i have to leave after this and i don't have like a wipe so the next one is a ysl lipstick um so i actually don't love this line of ysl there's like a certain I love their Rouge Per Couture lipsticks, but not this one. This one is the Rouge Volupt. I'm probably saying that wrong. But this one is like a lip cream. It's like very sheer. And I feel like the color is pretty, but it never lasts. The YSL Rouge Per Couture lipsticks last longer than this does. But it's like a really pretty, like, it's just a pretty baby pink. Not baby pink, but it's like a mauve pink. That's why I bought it. I also have... Kat Von D liquid lipstick, Lolita 2, which I actually hate. It's very orange, and I think I put that in my bag because I thought it was Lolita, which is like one of my Ride or Die lip shades, and um, when it looked like I was putting on um, a liquid lipstick in the shade Doritos. I also have the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the color Pure Hollywood. This is one of my all-time favorites. It's like a beautiful nude there. And then last but not least, I have this. Um, image skincare or medic balancing lip enhancement complex. I bought this from my med spa when I got my lips done last summer and I'm almost out so it's like almost lasted me a whole year. But this stuff is amazing. It's $20 and you get like literally nothing so it's very expensive for how much you get but this is the most hydrating lip gloss. It's like it looks like a gloss but it's like a it's more of like a medicinal lip balm um it's very thick it's glossy and they also sell a pink tinted one this stuff is the only stuff that will cure my dry lips i have like chronic dry lips and this stuff is amazing so i love it um i was actually i'm laughing because i put it on before i filmed this video and since it's almost out um i'm home alone right now and i wanted to like put it on and i was looking in the mirror and this made like the loudest fart noise and i'm so immature and i died laughing this thing like farted on my lips and then it did it again like right after because it just has no shame so and that's it that is everything that i have in my bag i really try to be um, i'm gonna clean out that change in a minute but i try to be more of a minimalist i try to be more of a minimalist now i'm really not into carrying a whole bunch of stuff with me i see some of these what's in my bag videos and people just put so much crap in their bags and I don't understand. My overall thoughts on this bag are, I definitely think that if you are somebody that is going to start collecting Louis bags and you're maybe thinking about purchasing your very first Louis bag, this would be my recommendation on the first bag you should purchase from 
Louis Vuitton. It's a gorgeous bag. It goes with everything. This is my personal favorite print. I love the Damier Abine um, print. I love that it's just very like classic. It goes with everything. It's the perfect size, the MM. It fits so much, but it's also not too big. And I don't have one, but you can buy an organizer for it. You can buy an organizer and you can buy a base shaper. So that would be something that goes on the bottom, which keeps the shape so it doesn't fold up like this. Um, both of those things I need to eventually purchase. I would love to get, I think it's the Tote Savvy organizer and you can get them in different colors and you can get one that matches this red lighting. Overall thoughts are, I love this bag. It's a great one. I believe it retails for, let me, let me just look it up so I can show you guys. So for this bag, exactly. Um, for the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in this print, the website says that it retails for $1,320, which is expensive. I'm not going to lie and say that it's not expensive, but if you're thinking about purchasing a designer handbag, you have to keep in mind that designer bags are something that last you years and years and years, especially if you take care of them. And when you're purchasing a bag from a very like affluent company such as Louis Vuitton, they also offer services like cleaning your bags. You can get your bags personalized and you can also have your bag taken care of over the years when, for example, the leather starts to rub off. So there's services that are included in that cost when you purchase a bag from them. So. It's definitely something that is an investment and if I ever have a daughter years from now, I would obviously pass my bags down to her. I plan on having these for the rest of my life. Let me know what bag you are carrying right now and if you plan on getting this bag or a Louis bag for the first time. That's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys. Make sure you check out all of my social media links down below. They're going to be listed in the description box beneath this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!